Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's start area four of the Kranken Castle. Turn that volume up to 11, baby. Oh yeah, four areas plus a boss. Let's start. Hopefully this part won't end up as long as the uh, last one. <laughs> that was really, really long. Can the, what do those bats do? Can they go like over blocks or something like that? Yes, they can. That's what I thought. Those guys are pretty slow, but I bet you that could actually help them dodge bomb blasts and stuff like that. Hello, bomb walk power up. When you have it, you can do stuff like that. Um, I don't. Did I get the line bomb power up? A while? No, I didn't. When you get the line bomb power up, you just press the bomb button twice while standing in place and facing a direction and you'll be able to shoot bombs in, well not, well not shoot them, but you'll be able to uh, send a stack of bombs in a straight line as far as you have a number of bombs. And man, this music is spooky and foreboding. I like it. <laughs> uh, do bomb blasts go up these stairs? Just curious. That's what I thought. They're like bridges, okay. Now there's the crystals. We got a mo- <laughs> it's a little turn signal there. That's a very easy way to predict its movement, that's for sure. <laughs> and it's a very weak enemy, wow. I would not expect something that weak to be this late in the game, but okay. <laughs> but it's a pretty silly enemy, though. Uh, it's like a unicycle motorbike thing of sorts. I have no idea what to call it, but it's got one wheel and it's weird. <laughs> it's got a mind of its own. And there's multiple areas to this place. I wonder if I should blast some more blocks along the way just because I can. I have a lot of firepower to be able to do stuff, or should say be able to chew through but blocks pretty quickly nowadays. Eh, I guess that's good enough. And I, I remember the boss of this area being pretty tough on its own as well, like that crab boss. So I am not looking forward to that. <laughs> I don't remember what the boss is like, I just remember it being a tough cookie. It's been a while since I've played this game, I don't remember if I said in the earlier parts, but uh, long ago my Genesis eventually broke, so I haven't played this game in years. And oh, I just noticed, look at the size of the eyes on that bird. <laughs> They're massive! But anyway, uh, my Genesis broke long ago and I never bought a replacement since then and I don't think there's any way to get it repaired unless I, I take it to a special store or something like that that you know, can, can do such a thing. I don't know what the cost of that would be, I never really looked into it. But I know it's possible to get it repaired, I suppose, like by replacing parts or something like that. But anyway, it's been broke for many, many years, and in turn, I haven't played any Genesis games on the Genesis for that long. <laughs> I, it's, it had to be at least five years since it's broke. I guess it's, I've just been kind of lazy in replacing it, so to speak. Uh, so you can pretty much take a guess that I haven't played this Bomberman in quite a while. <laughs> um... Another thing, just like the other Bomberman games, is that I've never beat this game without a game over. And I believe this game is harder than the other two Bomberman games, so... But then again, I said that about Bomberman 2 as opposed to Bomberman 1, so for all I know, I'm gonna be, uh... I mean, the game is gonna make me a liar all over again. <laughs> it, it always seems like when I say a game is hard, things go ridiculously well. You know those gargoyle guys there that... Well, that was weird. They fly up into the air to dodge your bomb blasts, and that's pretty much all they can do. Otherwise, you just walk around like a normal enemy. Those little ghosts, they go through blocks, and that's pretty much it. Then you just blast them with... I, they're not really all that much different from any, like, fish or something like that. I guess maybe they're a little bit faster, but they're not as fast as those, uh... Um... The littler fish. Uh, I don't really have much more to say about that. <laughs> I'm just introducing things as I go here, as I remember them, basically. Uh, do you dodge bomb blasts? I don't know if you do. No, you don't. <laughs> that was another case of suicide. <laughs> Poor ghost. Oh, that, wait. A go can a ghost commit suicide? Apparently so. Hmm. 
that might very well be a conundrum we will never be able to solve. Perhaps we shouldn't think about that one too much. And... Uh, fine, I'll grab that. <laughs> it's a little bit out of my way because I was right by the door, but eh, I got so much time left on the clock, I'm good. I'm gonna blast that like so and set up stuff ahead of time just to get the things cleared out because those ghosts are very mobile although they don't really care much for <laughs> look at them they don't care they don't care much for uh, when when uh, there's a bomb in their way or something like that but when those big eyed birds die that is just ridiculous <laughs> I mean you'll, you'll notice that their eyes like fall off their head I suppose that's kind of morbid as well but I don't know I, I have to say that's pretty funny <laughs> In my opinion. And then their eyes go X's as well. You know, they get the cartoon X's. There's a lot of little touches like that added to this game that uh, have a lot more humor than other classic Bomberman games. Uh, a bunch of jumping guys, they all have a crystal ball on their head. But they're so predictable and so slow that they aren't much of a problem. I mean, they take two hits apiece, but still. Yeah, see, it's like they, they stay in that line most of the time, and then they... Yeah. That was delightful. <laughs> Three kills with one bomb. Well, kind of. It was just the way that I had them set up. Mm, one more hit. Don't turn. Oh, you turn. Why did you have to turn? At least go... I was going to say go down the other way, but ah, that works too. And voila! Needless to say, I'm trying to make a uh, better. Oh, I'm trying to take a better pace through the level here. It's the dancing one again. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to uh, take a better pacing through the level and not hit my arm on the desk accidentally. You probably heard that. Wait, wait what's underneath? I mean, what's this? Is that a fire up, power up, or something? I don't know. Hmm. I couldn't tell because the tree was in the way. It certainly looked like a fire-up, power-up. Anyway, let's grab the spirit picture and get out of here. Yay! I think I'm having an easier time with the uh, crank and castle here as opposed to the slam and sea. I think it's because the enemies in the slam and sea were just a lot more... Um, aggressive, so to speak. Then again, I haven't gotten to the boss yet, so... That may all change shortly. As I said, the, the games that I play tend to uh, make me a liar, because I always say something and then it, it goes... Like, I say something negative, or it's something that I think is gonna happen that's negative, and it turns out positive. <laughs> that's just how things have been going lately, but uh, I can't really complain about that now, can I? Uh, oh shoot, <laughs> I, I was worried about the ghost turning, but I don't really have to because of the fact that, you know, they don't home in on you or anything like that. You know what, I'm gonna do that and hope that you get blasted. Delightful! <laughs> you know, just like to trap them in that corner area as I blast blocks at the same time. It, it would eventually corner him into walking into a bomb blast regardless if there is uh, soft blocks there because I would eventually weed them out. It's a really nice strategy to corner enemies and just pick them off one at a time. Uh, he's trapped there. I don't really want to go over there just yet. Uh, although, that would be a good angle to get him. Because of the way that, you know, there's, there would just be that straight line of uh, blocks towards him. And he would probably get blasted a lot by my bombs. I was just thinking if I should hit him from this side or the other side. But because he's so slow, I think I'll just do it like this instead. Always gotta think strategically as you blast your way through boxes. And there we go. <laughs> that was a bad move for him to turn like that. He should have ducked around the corner over here. Extra life! Woohoo! Lives are meaningful in this game because if you get a game over you lose the majority of your power-ups And that makes things a whole lot harder <laughs> Oh, you know what? Let's switch. I bet you it's gonna be another pink one 
No, it's the yellow one. This is the one that can kick blocks like that. That's definitely better than the pink one, although the pink one is kind of entertaining with his dance. <laughs> uh, I could keep him trapped there. Although, I could just leave him alone. Oh, uh, using the turn. <laughs> What's in the rest of the blocks? I don't know. Or we are about to find out. Perhaps something good. Mm, I guess I could use that. All right, through the door. Next area. Yeah, it's in the. Oh, see that barrel? Blast those uh, holders at the left and right side. There, see that they're kind of like overlapping the field. You'll see why, but get out of its way when you do. It's pretty hilarious. <laughs> like, watch, I'm gonna blast one of the two holders right there. And... Wow, this is really laggy. Okay, I'm gonna plop one here. That bat's gonna die. Now watch. Oh, all the enemies are gonna run out of the way. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> They're all roaming around that area, and I could have killed them, but too bad. They ran away. Ah, so much lag. <laughs> At least it's an authentic Genesis experience here. Because, <laughs> you know, a computer's processing power is way, way higher than a Genesis is nowadays. But uh, the emulation emulates even the um, system properties. I should say the system processing power as well. And kill off that dang gargoyle. He is bugging me profusely. There we go. <laughs> I don't like when they fly up like that. I mean, they aren't really in your way when they fly up. But it's the thing of... Uh, they can dodge your bomb blasts. And that's pretty inconvenient. <laughs> I'm gonna keep these dudes cornered if I can. And got one. And I'm gonna take care of the crystal and the other one at the same time. Now I got two. Delightful! And that, well, that apparently is the last one. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to, to the uh, upper left corner there. Man, I'm clearing out these levels quite quickly. <laughs> I, gu I guess I got too used to the slam and seize slow pacing, even though that one was super laggy. And whoop. One more level to go, and a boss that I'm most likely going to die profusely on. <laughs> Start! Go! Now! Mm. Yeah, I don't think that is actually an emulator thing, looking back. You know, when it changes the color on the black screen like that, that I was questioning back at the uh, Slam and Sea. You know what, I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> you go up while I go down. Because I, I, I'm looking, I mean, I'm thinking back to when I played this on the Genesis, and I think that those uh, colored screens were like that before. It's probably just the ever so slight game glitch that it was like, you know, it doesn't affect the gameplay that they just left in or something like that. Or maybe that's when it loads the palettes. Then again, then again, there are, I mean, there is black on the screen. You can tell, like, the outlines of the bricks down there. So I don't know why they wouldn't use that if that was the case, so I'm probably just assuming things and I probably shouldn't assume things. Blast that soft block so I can trap him. There we go. <laughs> because I was worried about him turning around and then, you know, getting in my face and stuff like that. Mm, do I... Yeah, I'll probably just leave. <laughs> I was gonna say, do I want to leave uh, that bomb power up? Go. That door is flashing open and closed. <laughs> Now that, right there, might be an emulator glitch. Um, this, I'm going to try and kill an enemy with ye ol' barrel. Yeah! <laughs> it flattens them like a cartoon. Good times. <laughs> and that does indeed do damage. It, it has not as much power as a bomb does, but it's just the fact that it's entertaining that I like using them so much. You know, I don't... It, it's funny, I don't think my bomb blasts are growing in power, despite me getting a lot of fire-up power-ups, so maybe the uh, blast radius of my bombs can't go as high as I remember? I'm probably just getting Bomberman games confused when I said that the uh, maximum was 9 earlier. I'm gonna grab that, because it's a speed-up, those are always helpful. You'd think that, you know, roller skates would actually make you more slippery, but no, it actually just speeds you up. <laughs> 
Although when you get a lot of them, yeah, you go really fast and it's hard to control. It's like getting too many speed up power ups in a bullet hell game or something like that where uh, you end up running into bullets because you have trouble controlling yourself if you get too many speed up power ups. It's a balance issue, basically. No. Oh. oh my. <laughs> oh, that worked out nicely. I'm going to try and... No! Okay, that works. I, I was worried about him, like, not getting hit by the bomb blast, but I forgot to... Poorly, <laughs> he moves so slowly. It's just the instinctive reaction to Bomberman enemies, because of how swift they typically can be. Although, a slow enemy does have its way of dodging your bomb blasts, because they like stay in between squares, and they can go, like, like where I'm standing here when two bomb blasts are going off. I still have no idea what that clock power-up does, unless it like freezes enemies or something like that. I probably should have grabbed that instead of just care carelessly blasting it to see what it does. That was my fault. <laughs> Oh, and I also noticed that enemies can die on soft blocks, unless that's just they're getting over onto the square ever so, ever so slightly, and I'm thinking that they're dying on top of soft blocks. I could be wrong, so you never know. Uh, I'll just leave that because I'll just collect its coinage. Hey, wait, where's? I thought I got all the blocks on this. Oh, way back here. Completely forgot about that corner. <clears throat> Alright, it's boss time! And I expect to be destroyed. Although I do have a Louie. So I have an extra hit. I hope that'll help. <laughs> this boss is known as Count Batula. Seriously. <laughs> I would prefer the Chocula variety myself, but what can you do? Bombs will not stop him. As you can see, he flies right over them. You can only hit him when he's on the ground. And he shoots those wing wave blasts, depending on which wing he overlaps his body with. I'm just trying to get him as he drops to the ground. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I forgot that he does that split thing as well. Mm, like I said, I'm not... Whoa! That's not pretty. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm safe in front of him when he does that, actually. Come to think about it... Because <laughs> I remember I had trouble dodging that when I was a kid because I didn't understand... It. Whoa, 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 I'm getting blown, I'm getting blown, whoa! What's, what the heck's the range of that uh, air gust that he did there? I have no idea. Oh, the flashing one is the one that's Count Batula, and it's also got the ones with the more sinister looking eyes, that one right there. Yeah, so you can tell which one is the real one just by their appearance. But that should be pretty obvious, because it's, it's like the spot the difference game dealio thingy. And I think I hit him there with the leftover bomb blast. Yes, I am definitely safe in the center. I had to test it out. Okay, so I'm actually better off staying towards the bottom of the screen or something. Can I hit him? Yes, I can. I can hit him right there. Or I should say, I'm, I'm better off purposefully staying in front of him to make sure that I can dodge those wing blasts. Maybe this boss isn't as hard as I remember it. <laughs> ah! Did I actually kill him? Like, is he a one-phase boss? Yep. I'm a little disappointed. That was not as hard as I remember. <laughs> See, the game made me a liar again! <laughs> Though I guess it's not technically lying if I don't know about it, but... You know, if I don't know that it's easier than I thought it was. <laughs> but still, you get the joke. And let's put another piece of our pie back into place. And end off this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we start the Thrashin' Tundra.